Ever want to bring back Armenia and establish Armenian dominance over the Middle East again? We can now form Greater Armenia, get permanent claims to conquer pretty much the entirety of the Middle East and all of Persia, and with a whole new revamped mission tree, it is actually worth it to play as this nation. Now, you might be asking yourself, also, Chairman, why else should I be playing as this nation? You know, I don't really care about Armenia. Well, they are a Coptic nation, so Coptic, very fun. And also they have some really good ideas as Armenian national ideas are very, very solid. They get monthly war exhaustion, recover army morale speed, attrition for enemies, missionary strength, development costs, diplo rep, tax, regimental costs, yearly army tradition, and production efficiency. Now they're not ideas that are going to bl absolutely blow you away, but they are some really solid ideas. Especially when playing in the Middle East, you're the only Coptic nation and you kind of have to ally nations like Austria, Poland, or Russia in order to survive. So here we are as Karabakh. I believe that's how you say it. We have a 4-2-2 ruler. He's a lawgiver, so decent for autonomy change. We're going to go ahead and hand out religious state. Expansion of zealotry and clerical education. Nobility-wise, we're going to do primacy of the nobility. Increase levies. Supremacy over the crown and nobility officer rights. As for our burgers, we're going to hand out land of commerce, patronage of the arts, and promote burgers bookkeeping. And then we're going to go ahead and seize some land. Now, looking at Kora Koyunlu, we're going to have to ally their two rivals, both the Mamluks and Ajam, because we're going to need them to support our independence. That's right, I kind of just realized I forgot to let you guys know we are her subject under Kora Koyunlu, but don't worry. It's really not that hard to get free from these guys. We actually got lucky this time with the general. We got a 2511. And our ruler is okay as well. He's twos across the board. And because our boy Ethiopia over here owns Aksum and it is also Coptic, we actually get a Coptic blessing. So I'm going to go ahead and start out with promote territorial rights for the core creation cost. I'm also going to go over here to our court and set our national focus to mill as anytime you play as a small one province nation in E4, you kind of sort of need to have every type of military advantage possible and military, that's the easiest way to have some sort of advantage. I'm also going to send my merchant here to collect trade in Aleppo and the one here in Persia I'm going to set to establish communities is going to help us improve relations with Ajam faster. The one in Aleppo is going to allow us to improve relations with the Mamluks a lot faster. I was going to build up to five units. That's going to take us over our force summon a three. But we need to protect our strength as much as possible to delay in any alliance. And just because I have him, I have this Diplo rep guy. I'm going to take him. That's going to help us out a lot with securing these independence uh, guys. Which I mean, I could already get Ajam to support my independence, so let's already send him over here to do just that. Now it's just a matter of getting my boys the Mammer Jammers to help us out. I'm also going to send a scornful insult to our overlord that's going to boost up relations even more with the Mamluks. And I'm also going to go to our burgers, take out and dead to the burgers. And guess what? We're going to take a lot of 4% uh, or 4 ducat loans, hire some mercs. Build up our force limit a little bit more to kind of con the Mamluks into uh, liking us a bit more. And there we go. Got the Mammer Jammers. And I'm going to go ahead and disband all these mercs because it's way too expensive. And guess what? We're going to go ahead and declare our independence. We're probably going to get stack wiped right away. It happens every single time trying to do this war. I don't think there's ever been a time I haven't been stack wiped by Koroko Yunlu, but you know what? I'll still give it the good old try here. Our ruler did die. We got a 434 in charge and a 560 heir, so not bad. And we could get a free stability from this mission, just simply declaring our independence. We also get a bunch of permanent claims in this area, too. And, yep, there went my army. That's okay. Our allies, they're going to do all the work. We could also be one of the very first nations to actually take Miltech 4, so let's do that. I think, oh, we are the very first nation in the entire world to take Miltech 4. Nice. All right, in this war, Mazanara, we're going to have them give us war reps, all their money. Now, as for QQ over here, we're going to go ahead and get our independence from these bad boys. Get some war reps also. 
and take a bunch of land all this stuff to be exact as that's all required for us to form our dominion and a bunch of money and i guess we could give this one province over to Ek or ajam to make him a little bit happier so there you have it we're already independent not too bad and we could take this mission making our ruler gain two military points and uh we're gonna have morale armies and recover army morale speed till the end until he dies and we get a bunch of permanent claims and cores on provinces that are in the armenian culture group we're also going to go ahead build up to our force summit of eight because we need an army regardless of what we do and because we took the province of yerevan which is a holy site we could go ahead and take our next thing which is going to be missionary strength and uh aquinlu just decided you know what we're going to cut georgia in half I want to get in on the cutting up of Georgia, so let's go ahead and do this. Alright, and I can only take these three provinces, so we'll just do that. And we can pay off a little bit more of our loans. Also, Mushasha coming in, basically forming a rock. Holy crap. Alright, and in order for us to actually form Armenia, we just need this one province. And then we can change to a kingdom and, of course, to Armenia. And hi there, Hissen Kaifa. Probably wouldn't mind if I uh, conquered you, would ya? Alright, I'm going to go ahead and attack Hissen Kaifa. I may call him my buddy Ajam a little bit later. Oh, Ajam apparently no longer considers me an ally? Oh, what? okay, it's probably because we consider the same provinces of interest, right? I'm going to send a scornful insult to Mushasha that should boost up relations with, yep, Ajam. I guess what, now we're going to call them in. All right, and as for my boy Hiss and Kaifa over here, I'm thinking I'm going to vassalize them. But I'm going to take these two provinces for myself, take all their money, and we're going to immediately attack Mushasha. And Ajam actually broke their alliance with us. Oh, well, would you look at that? Ajam's also at war with uh, Mush Mushasha. Also, I don't remember if I mentioned this, but uh, we are going for a specific achievement. This one, Mets Hike. Uh, which just requires us to own core and convert to Coptic the borders of Great Armenia. I'll zoom out now and hopefully zoom in and show you all the stuff in purple is what we have to own. I'm sure as you guys can see, Ajam is turning into a really big threat to me and they also rivaled me. Ottomans of course took quantity ideas. They always take quantity ideas it seems like. Truce with Kora Koyunlu is over. We're going to immediately attack these guys. Take Tabriz for ourselves. And Ajams getting ready to it. Also invade Kurokoyunlu. We gotta win this siege fast. Alright, perfect. We actually won that war just before Ajam attacked them. So now we own that starting area, well, the capital area of Kurokoyunlu. They're gone, they're dead. Our overlord is no more. And we could also complete this mission, overthrow the Turkmen. We're gonna get, uh, we're gonna discover Persia. And we get minus 15 AE with all neighboring countries. We get shock damage for, uh, by 15% for the next 15 years. March of permanent claims in Iraq and in Persia. All right, let's do a quick war against uh, Mushasha. Hopefully full annex these boys. All right, I'm going to take these three provinces for myself. Uh, I don't need to be given Hiss and Kaifa any more land. So this I don't understand. I can attack Shervan. Mamluks would join. I get no CB, Gazamuk, Mamluks would join. But to attack Biapas, Mamluks would not join. And our ruler died. We got our 560 and a 323 air. Eh, really not too bad. Finally, we could choose our first idea group. We're going to go with quantity ideas right away. We need as many troops as possible. All right, good, good, good. Ottomans are kind of in a big war as they attacked Albania and Venice and Serbia are getting involved. Uh, this actually might open things up for me where potentially I could attack a nation like Shirvan here and make them break their lines with the Ottomans. Alright, let's begin annexing my boy Hiss and Kaifa. This is going to take us 13 years, uh, though I'm going to give my nobility the nobility integration policy that's going to speed it up. So now it's only going to take 12 years. Oh, would you look at that, Trans Oceana is actually fighting for its independence from the Timurids right now. Which did call my ally the Mamlux, but um, this might actually work out. Alright, Ottomans would not join a defensive war with Shirvan. 
and Ajam is currently embroiled in their war with Timurids, and they have 20,000 troops. I think I should be okay to actually do this war. All right, we got Ajam down to 9k troops. I did take out some burger loans, and um, I also hired the free company to help me out. And my ruler's dead, and we're in the Regency. 322. Okay. But let me fire this advisory. It's too expensive. All right, let's fight this battle against Ajam. Uh, they're going to get maybe a penalty. I think there's a river or something. We're going to do something like this. Make them break their alliance with Akkoyunlu. They gave us war reps. A little bit of money. Not too much. We're going to disband my free company. And Shervan, we're just going to full annex. All right, we're going to launch a war against Gazmu. This is going to call on Great Horde, Akkoyunlu, and Biapas. We're going to take a province from Biapas. And for Akkoyunlu, we're just going to make them break a bunch of alliances. All right, let's embrace the Renaissance. I can almost get Ammon Tech 7. We're going to take Diplo Ideas next. Mr. Biapas here. I'm just going to take the one province from him. Make him end their alliance with uh, Naga, because that's just kind of annoying. And we completed this mission. Caspian Riches. Create a level 1 center of trade in Shirvan. Uh, we get 10% trade efficiency, and if we complete this mission while at least if we complete this mission while we control at least 15% of the trade in Persia's trade node, the duration of this modifier is doubled, so it should be for 30 years. As I mentioned earlier, we're just going to make Akkoyunlu end their alliances with both Ottomans and the Great Horde. That way, it sets us up with a relatively short truce. Where are we at? Yeah, about like eight year truce. All right, in this war with Gazmuk, I'm not going to do anything with them actually. I'm just going to take all their money. Um, I just need to get do this war to get to Akkoyunlu. And I'm going to choose my next idea group, which, as I mentioned earlier, we're choosing Diplo. And because we have so many war reparations, we're actually making three ducats off of war reps right now. Not bad. Let's see if we can't potentially ally somebody else. Like, that's solid. Maybe Timurids, actually. Timurids? If it's a possibility, I'll gladly take Timurids. And don't worry, everybody, I'm going to be taking religious ideas as my third idea group. I got a lot of conversion I got to do. I'm also going to start focusing on admin because, uh, you know, we've been doing pretty good in mill. So might as well uh, focus on admin since we're going to be picking up an admin idea group next. And um, we've been conquering a lot of land. And there we go. I actually got Timurits. That's fantastic. it will be a good ally, especially against Ajam. And it basically guarantees my survival, at least for a little bit longer. Ideally, I want to get Austria, especially since they have Hungary. Or, you know, Poland would be good too, or even Russia. I, you know, I just, I need one European nation. Alright, we annex our boy Hiss and Kaifa. Now our lands are connected to all of our stuff in Iraq. Alright, truce with Akkoyunlu is over. If I do this war, it'd just be me fighting Akkoyunlu, Gazamuk, and Ajam. Because Mamluks are busy with Ethiopia of all places. I don't know, honestly, I'm kind of willing to take this risk. The far this war is going really well for me. Um, I'm just kind of making a big circle, just beating up on everybody. But Gazamuk, I could actually get out of here. So we'll do that. I got a Jam out of here, so now it's just me, Mano y Mano, with uh, Akkoyunlu. And right, we can end this war with Akkoyunlu. We're going to take all this stuff. Finally, we're going to border the Ottomans. That's dangerous in itself, but... What we gotta do. We are now a kingdom. However, I'm gonna do this. Oh, apparently we completed this so we get Georgian as an accepted culture and permanent claims on all of Caucasia. We could do National Awakening. And once we core up this province, we're gonna go ahead and form Armenia. Tier 4, we're gonna go with uh, maintain balance of power, extra diplomat, always nice. And I'm gonna rival the Great Horde and Transoxiana. All right, and we are going to become Armenia now, so we get this nice maroon color. And we have proclaimed ourselves as Great Armenia. Now we are Great Armenia. And if you really wanted to, you could just go back to being Armenia, but I like being known as Great Armenia, not just Armenia. And we are so close to actually being able to ally Austria. Granted, they are being absolutely just demolished by France, but still, they're also allied to Russia. All right, there we go. I can now ally Austria. We have this grand company that allowed me to get that alliance. And our error actually died. Okay. Oh, well, we got replaced by one that's better, 135. Ottomans are invading Austria. Uh, I feel like I'm kind of obligated to join this. Not Koyunlu's in this war. Ottomans have 100,000 troops. Uh, You know what? I'm going to decline this. 
I'm sorry, Austria. I'm not I'm not risking it this time around. What I will do to help out Austria though is I'm gonna go to war with Gazakamu, which is gonna call an Akoyunlu. And uh we can at least get rid of you know that nation in Austria's uh defensive war. And here we go. Mamluks got attacked by the Ottomans. Oh, I gotta join this. I unfortunately have to join this. What I'm gonna do to kind of help out my nation with defending against the Ottomans, I'm gonna sc scorch earth all my forts. I'm gonna make them take more attrition if they decide, you know what, we're gonna siege. All right, we actually won our very first battle against the Ottomans, not bad. It was here in Halab. That at least gives me confidence that we can win any defensive mountain battle. And yeah, all the Ottomans are coming towards me right now. Gotta love it. Big Ottoman stack actually left. I have another one over here. Once that one leaves, we're gonna go ahead and engage on these Ottomans up here in the mountains. All right, he's well out of range. We can hit you beat up on these guys. I'm literally taking on the brunt of the entire Ottoman army right now. We're actually doing a really good job until we were just outnumbered by them. Get some really good battles off on these guys, actually. It's kind of insane. And their whole mill tech ahead of me. There we go. Kicking them off my fort. And at least Adal's actually helping out against the Ottomans. I'm sure most of their war score is on me right now because they occupy like half my country. Oh man. I'm out of manpower also. And like their whole army's trapped up here too. <laughs> Ottomans want me to seed stuff. No. They don't even own a fort. Why would I seed like land to these guys? Oh, I can ally the Commonwealth. Thank you, thank you. Yes. Ottomans, same thing. They're like, hey, how about you pay us some money? No. I'm good, buddy. I feel like once I actually get caught up in Miltech, Ottomans might actually be in trouble when fighting my guys. Ottomans now want to white piece me out of this war. See, you know, that's tempting. Especially because they took uh, this province right here. This is the war goal. This I'll take. But she still took a commonwealth to help me. I can also complete this mission. It's gonna give us some random bonus development. And we get manpower and true faith provinces for the next 20 years plus 20%. Oh, and man, looks are actually able to white piece the Ottomans out or just gave up that one province. Not bad. Now the Ottomans are attacking their former ally. And they did it like the last second too because they were only allied to Ajam earlier. Third idea group time, we're taking religious ideas. We got a lot of conversion that we have to do. Also for our tier five government reform, we're gonna go with this one. This one seems to be a unique one for our nation. We get fort maintenance, fort maintenance attrition for enemies, recruitment time, fort defense, garrison size, and max hostile attrition. Our truce with the Ottomans is over and I'm actually going to attack them, especially because they are at war with both the Jam and the Mamluks. Uh, plus, I could get Commonwealth, Hungary, and Timurids to help me, so... Look at that. Look at all the Polish and Hungarians flooding in. Take a Constantinople. And the Commonwealth is finally getting a pushback. Well, not Commonwealth. Uh, Mamlux is finally starting to push back, and even Akoyunlu might survive this war against the Ottomans. Especially because all the Ottomans are focusing on Poland. And they only have 75,000 troops, which means they got stack wiped at some point because they had 130. Oh, that was like such a perfectly timed attack on the Ottomans because now, yeah, Mamluks or uh, Akkoyunlu is getting some good sieges. Ottomans, they are, uh, they're kind of freaking out right now. All right, I really want to take this army in Constantinople, but they have that 35 stack. Uh, I don't think that's a good idea. I want that stack actually move so now I can move in. Yeah, Ottomans, uh, you're not looking too good, pal. It's not even really like the Timurids are helping out a lot because they only have 17 troops, but they're helping out with like sieges. And like, uh, Tlemcen uh, keeps sending guys over here, so they're also helping out clean up those guys as well. And uh, Tlemcen is also about to get full out annexed by uh, Portugal. Ah, uh, yes, Ottomans about to be a completely out of troops. They're down to 64,000. And my boy Poland, they have 110,000, guys. Okay, uh, Akkoyunlu is taking stuff over here. 
Let's get the Tlemcen out of here. And we have a bunch of permanent claims all over the place. We're going to do something like this. Take this much land, as much money, war reps. Just to get into Anatolia. And I'm actually going to go ahead and attack at Koyunlu. As soon as, well, this diplomat's ready. Because uh, it's just going to be me versus Ajam and at Koyunlu. Alright, let's full annex at Koyunlu. Dead, they're gone. And Great Armenia is looking really great. Alright, we're going to do a quick war against Naga. I just want Circassia that's going to complete a mission for me. One thing I love taking... One thing I love doing with Diplo ideas is pairing it up with religious wars. So you actually get 45% cheaper provinces when fighting heretics. Plus, if you get to Deus Volt in religious ideas, <laughs> provinces are even cheaper. Alright, Naga, I literally just want the one province. Give me all your money. War reps. There we go. We can now embrace colonialism. That took a while. We can get guns. And we can complete secure Caucasia. So all of our Caucasian culture provinces will receive uh, one extra bonus mill development, local unrest minus two, local manpower, and we get permit claims in Astrakhan, Azov, and Crimea. We are now also the seventh greatest power in the world. Not bad for and he should have started as a one province miner. Rival wise, we're going to rival the uh, the Ottomans. I was going to say the Mamluks, but not them just yet. Oh, hi Astrakhan. Uh, yeah, you know what? It actually might be worth to attack you. I just gotta wait till Commonwealth is like, you know what? We don't want to guarantee you no more. Which, uh, perfect, actually. They just did it. Alright, truce with the Ottomans is over. I could get literally everybody to help me out, so let's do it. Uh, I didn't realize it, but Commonwealth also got, uh, Bohemia as a PU partner. But Commonwealth kind of OP this game. Alright, and this is the type of peace deal we're gonna take. Everything we have permanent claims on with the Ottomans. But because of that, we could actually complete this Shatter Osman's legacy. So we're going to lose 100 autonomy, uh, 20 years of separatism, manpower recovery speed, and get military tactics. And we get a permanent claim on all of Anatolia. And I guess uh, Mamber Jammers got upset with me. Okay, that's fair. All right, let's uh, upgrade this temple that's, or this cathedral that's here. It's going to boost up our missionary strength. And I have a mission to upgrade it also. And all we need to do to complete this achievement is just simply conquer the rest of this land from Mamlux and convert it all to Coptic. Which we're doing a pretty good job of. Alright, we did upgrade this. It's going to upgrade a couple of our churches, the cathedrals. Uh, get a level 3 Inquisitor, not bad. Alright, we're going to take this type of peace deal. Uh, I'm going to have to come back actually to beat up the Mamlux again later. Tier 6 government form, we're going to go with Aristocratic Court. And Russia actually allied Amlux. And apparently I got the achievement. Though I don't own all the provinces. And I haven't converted these two provinces to Coptic. Alright, we're going to launch a cleansing of heresy against the Russians. So that that way I can get the land I need from the Mamlux. I've also completed a mission. Church of the East converting... All the provinces in Iraq. Baghdad will actually become a Coptic center of conversion for the next 30 years. Wow, that's actually really nice. Alright, I'm just going to take the provinces I need for the achievement. Otherwise, that's really about it. Had our name, great name, place of it, Vertical Armenia. Alright, all I have to do is just convert these three provinces to Coptic and we get the achievement. Alright, let's do a Holy War on a jump. It's going to call on Ottomans and Ormuz. I just want to take the stuff I have permanent claims on from them. Just to clean up our borders and maybe we won't be as vertical. And we just got the achievement for converting everything to Coptic. Uh, and restoring Armenia to its great borders. Which is just pretty much this area over here. And of course we took some more. And once we finish up this war, we're going to take, you know... We're going to be looking even greater than Great Armenia. Alright, we can take the peace deal that I want. 22. And that did not fix the verticality of our name, but we can become an empire now. And we can also complete this mission. Heritage of the Arasiads. 
This gives us 25 prestige, excess prestige because monarch power. We get 20% core creation cost and get a permanent claim on Persia, the region. All right, and that will conclude our campaign as Armenia. Go ahead and drop a like. And if you're new here and enjoy this video, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. I'm thinking if we get 500 likes on this video uh, by Sunday, then I'll upload a part two of this where I will go ahead complete the entire mission tree as Armenia. So with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Chairman out.